Microsoft is calling this the most powerful productivity tool on the planet. That is Microsoft Copilot. Copilot is an AI powered productivity tool that uses large language models and Microsoft is currently rolling it out across its suite. But I'm gonna guess you already know this. You wanna know if Copilot's actually worth your time to use. Let's get into it. As a low-code dev and a power platform user myself, I have currently been playing around with a ton of the different Copilot functionalities across the suite in Microsoft, and I'm currently using them to boost my work. The first feature that really blew me away was when I used the Copilot add-on in Outlook to generate email replies. Copilot automatically created these for me and they sounded completely natural and honestly, they were better than what I could have written myself. And it did it in seconds. If that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will because the possibilities of what this can do for you and how much time and energy it can save you is endless. Copilot is not only being engineered for the people who use the system, but also the people who design it. Microsoft has already announced and has now begun rolling out the ability to use Copilot to generate code in the Power Platform. I've actually already used this to create a Canvas app, an automated cloud flow, a scheduled cloud flow in a personal trial environment. This is one of the things I was most excited about because this is currently something that I do every day. And it only means that businesses can develop their systems easier. Since Microsoft has announced Copilot coming to its suite, I have been doing everything I can to learn as much as I could about it. I've been reading different blogs, watching a ton of videos, using a trial environment to test myself. I've even gone to several different live events. Fortunately, working for a Microsoft partner allows me to peek behind the curtain just a little bit. I have learned that your prompt or what you actually write out for Copilot plays a huge role in Copilot's effectiveness. A good prompt has three main things, and the first is gonna be what's called a persona, the second is it's gonna provide context, and then also it's gonna give a clear objective. A bad prompt could be something like, give me five interview questions. This has no persona or context, it has a very vague objective as well, so what you're gonna get from Copilot is not gonna be very good. But a good example of a prompt is if you wrote, as a hiring manager for a manufacturing company that is interviewing a new quality control inspector, provide me a list of five insightful questions to ask that will provide open-ended answers. Copilot is a tool and understanding how to talk to it is gonna be how you can use your tool effectively. And my general consensus of Copilot is it's pretty sweet. But in order to elaborate, I need to split the audience into two groups because my review is dependent on which group you fall into. The first group of people is gonna be people that are using Copilot to write an email, maybe create a Word document for them, or even potentially summarize an account in Microsoft Dynamics. To this person, I say, Copilot is a 10 out of 10. When asking Copilot to create with natural language, I have had absolutely zero problems with it. This is because it's an extension of OpenAI's ChatGBT. And with Copilot currently in preview, there are some capabilities out there for you to currently use today, but there aren't a ton. But Microsoft has communicated these features and has begun to announce when they're gonna be rolling these out. This truly is a powerful tool and is changing how we are doing work. I I personally use the new Bing chat every day to find information and resources for answers to questions that I may have, as opposed to traditionally just typing my question into Google and finding a certain resource. I can just type it into Bing chat and it's going to give me the answer without having to search. The second group of people are people who are wanting to utilize the code development capabilities of Copilot. We need to remember that Copilot is in preview and this is seriously only a few months old. And so I feel Copilot still has a long way to go. Because of this, even though my excitement is an absolute 10, I'm gonna have to actually rate it about a four. In its current state, you can use it to do some simple updates like update a button's color on a Canvas app or add an action to a flow. But these updates are fairly straightforward and using Copilot to do them isn't saving you a ton of time. Also, if you don't specifically call out the components or talk to Copilot in the right way, it's gonna spit out this lovely little message for you. Often, it's just faster to make a specific update yourself. 
However, I was able to create a complete canvas app from a written prompt in seconds. And I think this is the biggest strength of Copilot currently for audience number two. It created a canvas app with several galleries, screens, buttons, and more to create a completed app. This did about 90% of the legwork. All you would then have to do is maybe update fonts or colors so that the app is customized to you. But you guys do not have to take my word for it. If you wanna see how Copilot created a Canvas app for me, be sure to check out this video here. Be sure to tell me how you are gonna use Copilot to boost your current work streams in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for sticking to end the video. My name is Griffin Lickfelt. This is the Citizen Developer Channel. I'm excited to connect with you guys in the next one.